So I wanted to do. <laughs> I just finished watching my uh, my uh, first one of my first videos ever, which was a uh, long time ago. Thinking about it, video wise, like I I've done I think three hundred or so videos since then. But it was uh, God, I was so stiff and rigid, and I just I had so much more to to experience and to be comfortable with. I just finished watching um, Aries uh, Sun and Aries Part One, and. Forgive me if I repeat some of the information, but I just felt like I, I needed to do another video that <laughs> a bit more. Uh, I mean, I know I pause all the time um, to reflect and whatnot, but like that that video, I was so rigid, so you know, pausing and stuff, and I was a bit easier. I was a bit more free in the second Aries video, but I felt the need to do an Aries Part Three just to maybe add some perspective to, to those videos and to, to update them a little bit. So I already talked about all the power that is Aries, all of that fire, all of that incredible enthusiasm. Um, I'd like to share an anecdote. Recently I did a, a tarot party in which I basically worked tarot for a party. It was actually really fucking fun. It was incredible. Um, my first experience doing so, and I, I know not my last. It was amazing. And uh, one of the people I met, actually, first... The first, my first two clients, they were a couple, they, you know, got read together, uh, were Aries, both of them Aries, and I was like, there you go, of course, you know, I told them, I was like, they're Aries, you know, first person here, of course, there you go, um, but later on, I met another individual who's also Aries, who was talking about how she wanted to be an actress, and her anecdote was so incredible, uh, not her anecdote, but her story was so incredible, because she was telling me about her dedication, about her visualization, she was so embodying that highest level of Aries, which is comfort, how to put it, comfortable self-assertion, you know, not self-assertion at the point of, you know, stabbing other people, being aggressive, of me, 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 me first, no, not like that, and not self-assertion in the sense of, oh, everything's about me, no, not like that either, she was solid, she knew, okay, I can take my time, I'm going to make sure I do this right, but I know that I need to go and be an actress. I need to do my thing. I need to be self-actualized. And she told me how it's just a matter of, of well, we both said this right back and forth, it's just a matter of visual, visual, visualization <laughs> of seeing it first and believing in it for it to come to pass. And I told her that other people don't get that. Other people don't necessarily understand just how powerful visualization is. They go throughout their entire lives not daring to dream, not daring to think that what they really want in their heart is possible. And so they live a very cold, cold existence. And I told her that if you see it, if you dream it, then you can do it. And there's so many beautiful quotes that have, have echoed that sentiment. But I told her that if she can visualize it, then she can do it. And that I have, literally, I have no doubt, I had no doubt then, I have no doubt now that she will, if that's what she really wants to do. Aries is the energy of can do, of, of doing without even calculating, of just going straight ahead and following your instinct of doing what you know you need to, ha to do without thinking over it too much, without dissecting it, of just letting that pure inspiration, that pure fire guide you. And to have sun in Aries, to have sun exalted in Aries, means that anything that you can visualize, anything that you see, your dreams, if you really want to do something, you can do it. And you know that instinctively. You know your inert, in, in, inert, no, inherent, your inherent power, your ability to get things done. And so the question for you is what is worth my time and energy? What is worth my fire? What gets my fire? What, what sparks my fire? Once you figure that out, you're unstoppable. So I urge you as an Aries to find out what you love and you know it's a very instinctive thing maybe there's a little bit of reflection thinking that you need but ultimately you know you just know right because that's that's what you love to do 
So find that out and then follow it. Pursue it ardently, endlessly, to the horizon and beyond. Because that's what life's about, is fulfilling yourself, doing what you need to do. I feel like I pretty much did everything else in the first two videos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so funny looking back on that video. It's like a, a trip in time. It's only like 10 months ago, but still such changes. It's beautiful. Anyways, um, I do encourage you to see those videos. They're full of information. If I am a bit rigid and stiff, I still had to figure out how to get comfortable. Um, but in any case, I just thought I might add this. So, Namaste.